As we celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, today we are putting the spotlight on Indian cuisine. And Josh, had some fun with this one. One of the fun assignments I got. <laughs> yeah, I stopped by Flames Restaurant in South Tampa to talk about one of their most popular dishes on the menu, tikka masala. And I learned, actually wasn't even invented in India, and it is one of the many things that most of us get wrong about this diverse cuisine. That's the sound. Well, it smells fantastic. And trust me, the smell of the weekday lunch rush here at Flames Restaurant, where Anil Nagarapu is one of the partners. Most of the Americans know the Indian version of UK food. Britishers ruled India for so long. A lot of Indians migrated to UK. They made uh, the creamy dishes, and then those dishes become international. Uh, dishes like butter chicken. Most people think of Indian food, Indian they food. think of butter but actually, chicken. It was invented in UK. Do you like butter chicken? Um, I might have ate butter chicken like three, four times okay. in my whole life. In your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> For a country with as vast a population spread over 30 states and shaped by African and European influence, if there is one thing Anil wants you to know, it's that there is no one way to sum up Indian cuisine. Muslim or Hindu, vegetarian or not, with authentic flavors and diets varying by region and sometimes religion, the sheer range defies categories. For example, the vast majority of Indians, while maybe not fully vegetarian, do limit meat in their diets. Reason being, vegetarian food is much cheaper, right? And then easy to cook. I feel like in America, uh, being a vegetarian, choosing not to eat meat is very much sort of a, a political or social statement, where in, in this case, it's more of a, a practicality yeah. uh, in, a, in a cultural thing. Yeah, yeah. When the British left, the India was like 60% um, of the population were underprivileged. Right, so vegetarian food was quite cheaper, and uh, most of the Indian, 80% of Indian population uh, at that time was farmers. What it all means for us Very good. is a tasty. Oh my goodness, it just keeps coming. Albeit right, extremely okay. limited idea of what this cuisine really has to offer. Is that is that frustrating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah, sometimes we feel happy that people like our food, but sometimes we feel like it is frustrating because. We didn't have a chance to show our skill. I've really enjoyed all of these pieces throughout the month because it is uh, opening our eyes yeah. and our minds to mm -hmm. other cultures as well. And I'm curious, though, is there one thing on the menu at Flames, which is so delicious, yes. uh, that is more... Uh, in tune with Indian so cuisine? So I was asking Anil, you know, they, they'll do specials every once in a while or maybe they'll try out some new dishes, but primarily, you know, people who are coming there, they're expecting a certain taste yeah. that we've become accustomed to, and so that's, you know, they're a business. That's yeah. that's what they, they offer, but they do dabble every once in a while. They're great, they invited me in. Flames Restaurant is on South McDill in Tampa if you would like to check them out as well. Highly recommend.